Hey, what's going on guys? Dr. Sean J. Harris here at Generational Wealth Academy. Happy Thursday to everybody. I just want to come to you just kind of chit chat a little bit and uh, let's talk about a mindset just a little bit. Everything I talk about relates to mindset as a foundation. And uh, I was just, uh, what was the night before last, I was at a uh, business reception. And I think so many times we get caught in the, or having the perception that we have to look a certain way. I have a certain image to be successful or to fit in. Now, you guys know C Student CEO, that's one of my uh, main brands, my mantra. And the night before last at the reception, here I am, kid from Decatur, originally from Atlanta, Georgia, C Student CEO. I'm in a room with the former governor of Georgia. Now, keep in mind, I thoroughly enjoy wearing suits. I'm a tie collector, connoisseur of ties. Uh, the three things I would spend big money on is my fragrances, my time pieces, and my uh, neckwear. So I will spend big money on that. But here I am in the room with the former governor of Georgia wearing C student CEO hat and t-shirt. But so many times people would just come to conclusions and wonder, well, why is this guy in this environment with a t-shirt, jeans, tennis shoes, and a hat? Well, once they introduce themselves and they find out who I am and then they realize, wow, I got to call this guy doctor who's wearing a T-shirt, who's wearing a hat. And more importantly, it says C-Student CEO. Guys, this is how I rock out every day. I wear T-shirts. I like to enjoy life and have fun. Uh, this is my, my cool Mickey Mouse shirt. It's one of my favorites here. Uh, that's not one of my branded products because typically I wear branded uh, items. But I, I say all this to say never underestimate people, never underestimate yourself and feel that you have to fit a certain part or to uh, pigeonhole yourself in a particular scenario. If you guys saw my post this morning, I, I made a, a post, I was just thinking, and so many times people don't really understand how to make wealth or how to create, generate wealth, but it's really simple. And at a certain point, once you have a certain sense of knowledge, at that point, it's just ap uh, application of mathematics. Everything is a formula. I've made a post this morning where I talked about, imagine this now, this is going to go over so many people's heads, some people are going to catch it right away. And some people are going to look at me and say, Sean, is that's too simple. It can't be that simple. But it really is. You get an artist to paint something. Let's say this is a painting. I'm going to use Caden's toolbox. You get an artist to paint this for $10,000. Then I tell another friend of mine who may be an art enthusiast and an appraiser I'll pay him $10,000 to value that painting at a million dollar, $10 million. Now what I'll do is I'll take that $10 million and I'll donate it for a charitable deduction to a museum. So in essence, that means I just made $10 million only leveraging $20,000. You understand that? It's simple math. But the caveat to that is you also own the museum. Now, who told you that a museum had to be this big fancy building uh, in New York and Manhattan? The museum can simply be your bedroom in your home or your home office. See, that's how you leverage taxes and use this, using tax strategies. See the amazing stuff you can learn from a kid <laughs> with a ball cap and a t-shirt? You don't have to always have a tie on to teach something or to learn something from somebody. But so many times we get caught up in these ideologies of thinking that the person has to look a certain way to be able to learn things. I'm finding more and more that it is extremely comfortable for me to remain in what's comfortable for me, but to still be in environments where I should be wearing a suit and tie, but still convey uh, powerful information that's creating great value add to people. So never feel that you're out of place if you're in your comfort zone um, when it comes to your value add to society. Uh, so that's just some of the things I wanted to share with you guys today. Be authentically you. That's the best way I can say it. All right, guys, I'm Dr. Sean J. Harris. Make major impact in what you do. Have a message in life and drive that message to as many people as possible that can benefit from your value add. All right, guys, I'm Dr. Sean J. Harris. For all you guys who are local and some of you guys in surrounding states and cities who's going to be coming into Atlanta this Saturday, I can't wait to see you guys at Caden's uh, bus reveal ribbon cutting ceremony. It's going to be amazing. Keep in mind, Caden has not seen the bus. He has no clue 
other than what it looked like a month and a half ago. So it's going to be a great event. It's going to be at the Black Wall Street in Stonecrest, Georgia at 8109 Mall Parkway, Stonecrest, Georgia, 30038. It's going to start at 1 o'clock. We're going to go to 3 o'clock. The ribbon cutting is at 2 o'clock sharp. Be on time because we are going to start on time. I'm an Air Force guy. Tara's a Navy girl. We're about that time. All right, guys. Take care and make a major impact.